Hey, first grade art friends, it's Mrs. Herbe. This week, we're gonna be taking a look at Indian corn, which is um, a popular fall decoration. And we're going to be looking at um, the kernels of the corn, the husk of the corn, and um, I'm just gonna give you a little bit of information about the Indian corn. It's a little bit different than regular corn. Number one, um, it has a lot of different colors. And number two, um, Indian corn is very hard when it's raw. So unlike corn on the cob, um, if you tried to bite Indian corn, you would probably break your tooth on it. Um, but it's often used to um, be ground up into cornmeal flour or other things like that. But in the fall time, it looks really pretty and people like to use it for decorations. So the first thing we're going to look at is the shape of this ear of corn and it's pretty much an oval shape and if we look we can see all these different rows of kernels and if you thought about drawing it you might say wow it really looks tricky to think about drawing all these rows of kernels okay so I'm going to teach you a fun little strategy um, on how to do that and we're also going to be looking at the husks and the husks are just curved lines um, and we're going to be practicing drawing those types of lines as well when we draw our Indian corn. So this past week I sent home some materials to you and one of the materials was a piece of paper that is this size. So what I'd like you to do is get out this piece of paper and this is where what we're going to draw our Indian corn on. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to come down a little ways because we have to leave room for our husks. So I'm going to come down, not quite halfway, but about halfway, and I'm just going to put a mark right there. And that kind of tells me where I want to start drawing my Indian corn. And then I'm going to come down close to the bottom, but not quite, and put another mark. And that tells me, so when I make my oval, that tells me kind of where I should go. And sometimes I like this to put these little markers because it kind of serves as a road map for me. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to draw an oval. So I'm just going to come out and around and then out and around. And if yours is a little bit wider, that's okay. Um, try not to make it any thinner than this and because then it might be a little bit hard to draw our kernels. But um, so this is our oval. And if you need to practice it a little bit, open up your sketchbook and you could just practice drawing your oval. If you don't happen to like the line that you drew, rather than erasing it, what you can do is you can lightly draw another line. And then once you draw that other line, then you can go ahead and erase the line that you didn't want or if you had to make some adjustments okay so there we go and i think that that's pretty good um, for my oval and so what i'm going to do next is i'm going to start with a diagonal line that goes down the middle so i'm going to draw a diagonal line that goes all the way down the middle of this oval and then i'm going to move over maybe about this far, I'm going to draw another vertical line. And then I'm gonna move over about that same width again, but maybe just a little bit smaller. So now I have three, um, three vertical columns on this side. Then I'm gonna move over to my other side and I'm going to do the same thing where I'm going to draw vertical line number one. When you're drawing these vertical lines, try to keep them as straight as possible, but sometimes they it's hard to do that. And so don't worry if it gets a little bit wavy. Um, so there I go, I have all my vertical lines. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn my paper to the side, all right? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw my horizontal lines, but they're actually vertical because I turned my paper to the side. If it's easier for you to draw the horizontal lines like this, 
you can draw them like this. Um, or you can, sometimes it's easier to draw like this. So you would be doing vertical lines again. It's up to you. I'm gonna turn my paper to the side. And what I'm gonna do is I want to draw, again, I'm drawing, these lines are vertical, but if I was drawing it this way, they would be horizontal. And I want to make sure that they are evenly spaced just going across taking my time and I'm gonna draw these horizontal or if you're doing it this way vertical lines all the way until we get to the bottom of the oval so now I'm at the bottom and we have this nice grid here, all right? And before we start drawing the kernels in the grid, we're going to take a look at the husks up here. And the nice thing about drawing the husks is we don't have to really worry about drawing them exactly like how we see them. We can just kind of look and see that there are a bunch of curved lines. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kinda go up and draw a curved line like that. And then I'm gonna come down next to it like that and then maybe I'm gonna draw another curve line up like this way and come back down maybe there's another curve line that's going like that way maybe one sticking out like that so just kind of have fun with your curve lines and you can also then if you want to add some other curved lines inside of these lines to make it look a little bit more realistic. All right, so there's my husk. Now, the next thing we're going to do is if we look at this ear of corn, we see that these, um, the kernels are kind of like little ovals in there. So what we're going to do is in each space, I'm going to fill that space with an oval or a circle, depending. So see how I did that? So I'm just gonna make sure I fill, I wanna fill up that whole space with And we're just gonna keep doing that until we work our way to the bottom. So I'll give you a few minutes take your time and make sure when you're drawing your ovals or your circles, oops, sorry, I hit the camera, um, that you fill up each of those squares um, till you get to the bottom. All right, bigger friends, Mrs. Herbe's back. And I started to um, outline my kernels of corn with a black crayon. So if you have a black crayon at home or um, if you have an oil pastel, um, that's what we are going to use to outline the corn. And so what you're gonna do is you're just going to take your crayon or your oil pastel and you're just going to carefully draw around the circle shapes that you already drew in pencil. And the cool thing is, is that as you go, it's going, the grid that we drew is kind of going to become invisible. And this is going to look more like a real ear of corn. So I'm just taking my time. I want you to take your time. So just go ahead and outline all of your kernels with your crayon or your oil pastel. I'm not going really fast. I'm trying to stay on my lines. And so go ahead and do this till you get to the bottom. All right guys, now we have our corn outlined with crayon. And then the last thing we're going to outline is these 
stuck. So again, I'm just going to take my crayon and outline with my pencil lines. And there you have it. So that is all we're going to do this week. Next week we will talk about color and I'm going to introduce you to um, two color families, the warm colors and the cool colors. But this is all that we're that you need to worry about for this week. Okay? So I will talk to you guys soon.